Hello and welcome to another tutorial on API testing with Python series. And now in the last tutorial we have seen how we can uh, the basic stuff related to PyTest. And now in this tutorial I'm going to focus on the uh, ordering of the test cases and uh, dependency in test cases uh, both related to PyTest. So uh, ordering when it comes to ordering uh, there are two scenarios. One, one. Uh, uh, one is that uh, you can write test cases even without the help of unit test module. Of course, you won't be able to inherit setup and tear down on both class and method level. Uh, but uh, uh, it you can still uh, run, uh, as you can see on the screen, you can still basically define some test cases and you can directly run with the help of PyTest. You don't need the help of unit test module there. Uh, of course, if you want to tear down and uh, um, set up methods then you will have to go with the uh, unit test module uh, then there's a second case uh, these are the two scenarios so one without the class one with the class we have test cases defined so in case where there is no class uh, the order of the execution is just uh, in the order you have defined them for example if suppose if I have this test case up above uh, in the order B A C D then if I run the file I say pytest and give the file name as you can see it's executing exactly in the order I have defined them this is in, in the case where I have no class now let's consider the second scenario here what happens I have a class first I need to import unit test then I have a class say I'm going to name, them, name the class as test2 so this should inherit from unit test dot test case class then I will define all for test cases. I need to add self keyword everywhere, self argument. Once I have done with that, now if I execute the same file, let's see what is the order. As you can see, now it's executed in the order of in alphabetical order. So, in this scenario, the case where you have a class and you have a set of test cases defined. In that scenario you won't be able to your, your order of execution is not in your control in case you want any order in, in this scenario then you have to go with the library that library is uh, pytest ordering if you do pip install pytest ordering you will be able to basically order your test cases now I have already installed this basically you need to run this command on your uh, terminal once you do that, now what we can do? Let's see. Now we can give order to your test cases. Same. So uh, you need to import pytest here. Test. Then you can say pytest dot mark. Then. Uh, then what you can do is run then you give the order is one so similarly you can give the define the order everywhere so here and here I'm going to say 3 sq3 this one and make 4 here now let's see if the order is uh, as we expect it to be so now you can see b then second should be a then d then c so it's now it's in the order i defined exactly how i define the order so uh, this is the way we can do the ordering of course there are other options like you can mark it as first uh, Okay, let's let's do that for some other method. Say this one. You can just mark it as first, and if you run the case again, okay, as you can see, test C is getting executed before all other test cases. Also, if you want to mark something, else, you can also mark something as last. If you do that, okay. Uh, test D is getting executed at the end 
so this is the way we can do ordering mm, also i think there is one more option it was mentioned in the document that is uh, order one but it doesn't seem to be working uh, in most of the time so uh, i don't recommend using that you can go with the uh, passing the argument this way uh, different give the decorator here then pass the order number this way order equal to one two and three so this way we can do the ordering now the dip for dependency uh, dependency uh, comes where you want certain test cases to be skipped if uh, if the if some other test cases has failed so in that case uh, you also need to install one a library that is uh, this one pip install pytest dependency once you do that um, then you'll be able to uh, give the dependency marker so say suppose i want test a to be dependent on the result of test b right so what i can do is i can let's just remove the this all these markers decorators first okay now say i want this test to be dependent on test a then i can say pytest dot mark dot dependency then then i need to give the depends here depends equal to list of the methods it this test case has depended on so in this case i will just give one here you can also like give the list test b test c in this way i'll just uh, give test b for now uh, okay in in case if, if you do if you don't have your test case under defined under a class you can just give the method name but if it's defined under uh, under a class then you need to give the class name and that is test 2 in this case then double colon then the method name okay now let's try let's try and see whether it's working or not if i execute the test case it says it's already skipped so this was supposed to be uh, get passed actually and since the reason why this happened is that there's a constant uh, constraint when you're using dependency actually there are several constraint uh, one is that you need to make sure your test case runs after the test case you are dependent on that is you need to make sure that test since this one this case test a depends on test b you need to make sure that test b runs first so basically i need to mark this as order one let's say run order equal to one there is a first constraint but now this is getting skipped even though the test case has passed it should not get skipped it should get skipped only the, if the test case has failed so why this is happening there is one more constraint if you if you're adding dependency that means this particular statement this particular decorator needs to be added everywhere so basically you need to add this to all the methods now let's run the file one more time and see now as you can see everything is passed okay now let's make this test case fail so i'm going to say assert and false when i do that now if i run the case okay as you can see one failed two passed and one of them got skipped as you can see it's a expect it's behaving the way we expected it to be so b got failed since a is dependent on b it got skipped uh, rest of the things have passed so this is the way we can handle um, the dependency of course the two constraints like i mentioned you need to give the dependency dependency to all and uh, actually i'm not sure if let's try and remove the dependency for other things and let's see what happens uh, yeah it's giving the same result 
but I'm not sure it would uh, work as we expect all the time but I, I think it's better to keep this thing uh, as we go to all the methods so this is the way we can do the uh, uh, dependency in uh, PyTest so uh, of course uh, you need to install the libraries for both first one is uh, PyTest ordering uh, second one is uh, PyTest dependency so um, that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching